All right, guys, welcome to the UFC Training Center. These are your coaches. Current world champion, Dominic Cruz. Former world champion, Uriah Faber. All right, guys, good morning. How you feeling? Tired. Sore. <laughs> All right, we're here to pick teams. Lawrence. I made Justin Lawrence my number one pick because um, he had a lot of athletic qualities, speed, power, and movement. He just, he was in the moment. He was in the zone, and he's young. My first training session for these guys is gonna be all kind of just sitting back and watching. Ready, go. Just keep working, get back up, stop it. He's gonna keep taking you down. Good. I like Cruz a lot. He seems like a guy that cares about everybody. And then I think after the first practice, I think everyone kind of, Cruz kind of grew on everyone. You know, I mean, he's a he's a champion for a reason. Nice, Miles. Good control. Every one of you has strengths. Now we gotta pick out your strengths and make these guys fight your fight. They wanna be here. They wanna learn. It's gonna be a good season. These guys are gonna suck things up like a sponge. Win on three. One, two, three. Yeah! What do we do? I'm not a very good guy at holding back my emotions. If I hear something, I'll confront that person right off the bat. That's just the way I am. It's called candor. There's some UFC magazine saying that my parents gave me a gym. Gabe, you out here say you gave, they gave it. Well, I don't know what they said, but you're talking about my parents, and they're like, oh, the I'm hell is this guy? I'm not talking about your parents. Get out of here. <laughs> Stay away from the family issue, dude. It's weird for Dominic to, to make some sort of statement about my family when he doesn't know anything about my family. If you're gonna make ignorant statements, don't do it about me. Come on, man. I'm not trying to badmouth your family. This is about me and you. And right now, it's not even about me and you. It's about these fighters here, so quit talking about yourself right now. I'll say whatever I want about you. That's different. We're fighting. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take Justin Lawrence. Favors the alpha male of the team, so pick your best guy. Hmm. You're gonna let him pick his own guy? Yep. Interesting. Who's ready to scrap now, guys? You want to pick? Go yeah, ahead and pick. Cristiano Marcelo. Yeah! Yeah! On live television, you gotta make a decision on your team, and your team looks scared to fight. They look away, they look away. Faber couldn't make the decision, the fighters couldn't make the decision. The fighters aren't supposed to have to make the decision. Faber should have stepped up and made it. Yeah guys, don't let them get under your skin, okay? Dominic put us on the spot and basically said, hey, you pick your guy. Good move on his part. It was definitely a power move by Cruz. Maybe we were all a little shocked. It's all good, baby. I'm not afraid of any guy in this house, but if Uriah wanted me to fight, he would have chose me, and I was sitting right in front of him. No one's gonna hop out of their seat to fight the number one guy. The second week of the competition is, is just not smart. I would have jumped up. All of us want, yeah, all of us wanted to jump up, but you gotta respect your coach, you know? He's the boss. He asked he, you guys. He had it. Faber asked his whole team, who's ready to scrap? This would happen. Nothing. No hands! Oh, oh, oh! No hands! When we got to practice today, Tickle had this brilliant idea to move Favor's parking sign. Don't ask me why. If they want to pull pranks and, and do things like that, I just told them, have your guard up because uh, the games have probably begun now. Cruz's team has done some sort of prank, if you want to call that a prank, but he made an effort to be witty. Nice try, Dominic. Dominic is a mix between Count Dracula and Eddie Munster, so we're gonna have some fun with that. Nothing drastic, an eye for an eye, nice and easy. Eye for nine. <laughs> <laughs> the games have begun. Eddie Munster. It's funny. It's funny. Somebody got to pay. I mean, I kind of figured Faber's gonna get all butt hurt, so they made me into the count. At least he made me the cool guy on Sesame Street. Oh, we'll get him back. 
Oh, there's a triangle, gotta get it on the crack. So we basically just put a thong on his butt chin to hide up that crack, and I think we got the upper hand on him again. <laughs> <laughs> 11 minutes overdue here. Let me help you speed the process up. Thanks for the door, man. You're it's welcome, nice buddy. You. It's nice of you. Yeah, my time to help you. Good, it's nice out of you. Out of our way. I tried helping you out. You didn't take it. Ah, oh, you did a good job of yourself helping us out. You can get over there. Oh yeah, we're gonna do it. Interactions with Dominic have been kind of standoffish, but I think things are gonna heat up between us because this guy's a jerk. Faints, 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 faints. We're always fainting. We're always fainting. Yeah. We're always fainting. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Beautiful, bud. Beautiful job. Scores 2-0. Money. Money. And I'm up. Actually, 3-0 if you count the last win that I had against Faber. It feels good every time I beat Faber at anything, so I'm a happy dude. Yes! Cruz trains intense, and Cruz coaches intense. There is no 50% for him. Punch, punch, punch. Doing damage, Rio. Doing damage. And we got Sam, who goes back and forth with him all the time. Sam knows all his ins and outs. He knows all his takedowns. I'm not trying to put Sam on spot. He's looking no, away. No, no, no. I'm... Well, we're a team here, you know what I mean? It's part of it, but we, right. we're gonna need you for this one, yep. you know what I'm saying? Well, Dominic Cruz uh, is apparently asking Sam about my style and this and that. Makes me want to cut my leg off and go down to 135 and throw him a beating. Hey, Sam, how often do how you train with Kiesa? Every day. Every day. Uh-huh. Kiesa's good friends with Sam Cecilia, and we gotta bring our A game for this fight. What I'm trying to do with you guys here is yeah. to win this thing. That's my job. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not my job to, to make keep people friends, make people friends. Right. right man. He's not out like plotting this evil scheme to get me to look like a bad friend. He's just preparing me for the UFC yeah, as a coach. So, you know, he's helping me out. I'm gonna beat his ass, dude. <laughs> I can't wait. Anytime my guys lose, I'm frustrated. And then I hear Tickle running his mouth and screaming at the team and he's laughing and making jokes. Them. Shut up. What are you doing, man? Nothing. I'm being me. Why? You're gonna fight. Just I do, am it, ready do it to there. Fight, man. Do it there. I'm Who happy. cares? Shut I'm the hell up. Relax. Quit running your mouth. Relax. Let's get right because we need things to be right for this fight. Bottom line is, I was very frustrated last night and I let it come out, and so I apologize for that. No, you're okay, boss. But um, so, no, all right. I know you're a man, man. Do you take off? <laughs>
I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to Ronda Rousey. For what? She's my friend, that's why. Right. Brought her in to show the guys how to fight. Go inside and teach nothing. Teach overhand rights and guillotines. That's all you got. One arm guillotine today. You know that one all too well, bud. Now last time, did I? Nope, we got the belt. I'm at the Tough House tonight to watch Rashad Evans and John Jones fight with uh, all the guys. Go in in judo stance. <laughs> I never feel threatening in heels, though. That's the problem. Hi, guys. How's it going? I'm actually in the house. What are you making? What are you making, barbecue? The second I walked in the house, it was like I had the plague or something. It was kind of funny to see how everybody reacted. Team Blue was just in shock, like, I can't believe there's a girl here. But even though none of them talked to her, they were just happy to have a female around and feel human again. All right, guys, I'm out of here. And we basically wanted to violate Team Cruise's space. It's pretty smelly, pretty hot, pretty nasty. They're all lubed up. It's a cry for attention. I'm your eye favor, and I want to be on camera with my shirt off. All right, guys, welcome to the Coach's Challenge. This is my favorite part of this competition. It's the day when you, the fighters, get to relax, kick back, and all the pressure is on your coaches. As you guys know, the winning coach wins $10,000 in cash. But for the first season ever, Tap Out matched it for another $10,000 in cash. There you go, Dominic. As soon as the competition starts, Dominic flies through the rope. He gets right to the top of the rope quick. Uh, Uriah looks like he's having a little bit of trouble with it. Pistol's got five targets set up. I hit almost all my targets on the first try. He beat me on the tire flip, and I was just, just behind him, enough to keep it competitive. And I hit the first one right off the bat. Second one, man, I, I couldn't hit it. Hey, Uriah catches up to him, and he bangs out both the jugs before Cruz gets his last jug. All of a sudden, Faber's in the lead, you know, and we're kind of like, man, it's, it's not going well anymore. You have to just be composed, breathe, and see where you're missing and adjust. That 20 G's from Dana was awesome. My team was just pumped, man. They all got some money out of the deal. Show me the money! It feels awesome to get the better of Dominic. Got to rub it in his face a little bit. Hey, you want to touch it? This no. could have been yours. This is heavy! That was good stuff. It sucks being in a room with Faber because he's always got something smart ass to say, you know? Never shuts up. And uh, we have this huge couch, and this guy sits like right next to me, and I'm just like, man. Why are you so close to me? You guys want to come out here for a minute? So, normally I come over here for either good or bad. This is the bad. Dominic blew his knee out uh, training for the fight with Uriah and has to have knee surgery now, ACL repair. I'm expecting Dominic to be out for at least nine months. So Dominic will not be fighting Uriah Faber now. I really been looking forward to getting this title. And on top of that, beating Dominic Cruz, that's gonna have to hold off till later. I think Dominic has been an amazing coach. I don't know how the, uh, you know, you guys feel, but he's not going anywhere. He's gonna stay on. 
Dom's 100% behind us and 100% behind him. He has us now, you know, he's fighting through us. At least I'm young, that's the only thing I can say. Sucks. What are you telling? I was looking forward to punching you, man. Dude, Rhonda, man, she took it to you, bro. <laughs> I'm starting the rumor. She threw me on my knee. 